Hello, good evening, and welcome to Colburn Park. The pilots are flying high, higher than they've been all season after winning their third game in a row last night against Elmira. They took an early 9-0 lead and walked away with a 9-4 victory. They've won three in a row, 5 of 7 and 7 of 9, to run their record to 14-26. After a 5-20 and 20 month of June, they're 9-6 and six here in the month of July. Tonight, they have a tough one with the number 18 nationally ranked collegiate baseball summer league program, the Jamestown Jammers. Jamestown walked off last night against Geneva after losing five of six games heading into the All-Star break. The Pilots have won their last two matchups versus these Jammers with the most recent on Sunday, a come from behind victory in a game which they needed a ninth inning rally to steal one from Jamestown. The Pilots will send their six foot two Southpaw Chris Vitale from Erie Community College in Chictawaga, New York to the Hill. He's three and one with a 4.96 earned run average, a 1.14 whip, and a .196 batting average against. He most recently started on short rest in Oneonta on Saturday, going just three innings, surrendering one hit and striking out three. In his last 13 and two thirds innings, he's two and oh with a 1.98 ERA and a .80 whip, and has 11 strikeouts in that span. He'll be opposed by Michael Ginther, a six foot seven lefty from Canisius College. And Sonny here at Colburn Park in Newark, New York. You're listening to Frank Lusala on the Newark Pilots Radio Network. Now as Chris Estrada digs in, it's time to play some baseball. First five batters in this Jamestown Jammers lineup all appeared in the All-Star game on Tuesday for the Jammers. The defense behind Vitali, left to right in the outfield, Josh Loeffler, Mark McKenna, Colton Carney, left to right in the infield, Hunter Wells, Graham Hackworth, Christian Orr, and Coach Juan Pon. And catching Vitali, it's with Alaka. Alaka goes to a knee, and Vitali fires a... Fastball for strike one. We are underway, 7.06 Eastern time here at Colburn Park. The 1 popped up out of play. Counts quickly. No balls and two strikes. The rest of the Jamestown Jammers lineup following. This A.B. to Chris Estrada. The 0 2. Way outside. Counts a ball and two strikes. Estrada batting 274 with a 331 on base percentage. Has 43 hits on the summer. He's playing third base for the Jammers tonight. The 1 2. Pitch is bounced in front of the plate. We're even at two balls and two strikes. Estrada started in or came in as a reserve in the All Star game on. Tuesday went two for two with an RBI. This one is popped up playable in foul territory. Hunter Wells, the third baseman, makes the play a step onto the outfield gra in grass for out number one. Rest of the lineup for the Jammers. Batting second, playing second, Jimmy Standahar. Batting third, playing first, Ben Brookover. The cleanup man playing center, Skylar Valentine. Batting fifth, playing right, Colin Stack. Batting sixth, playing short, Alex O'Donnell. The hero for the Jammers last night. Batting seventh behind the plate, Connor Rule. Batting eighth, playing left, John Conti. And batting ninth, the designated hitter, Christian Deaton. First pitch to Standahar, swung on and fouled back. Counts on one. Standahar started in the All Star game on Tuesday. Went one for two with a run scored. By Tally from his windup, 0 1 pitch, swung on and fouled back. Counts no balls and two strikes. Chris Vitale making his 14th appearance, his six starts, in 29 previous innings, 21 hits, 21 runs. 16 of those earned. He's walked 12. He's struck out 25. He's 3-1 and one with a 4-9-6 earned run average. The 0-2 standoff popped up. Vitale sprints in, Alaka over. Alaka will make the play in front of the pilot's dugout for out number two. So back-to-back -back pop-ups in foul territory off Vitaly. And the batter is Ben Brookover. First baseman from the University of Texas, San Antonio for the Jammers. Leads the perfect game league with 54 hits. 
has a 346 batting average, which is good enough for ninth. And a 383 on base percentage. First pitch by Tally goes breaking ball. Counts on one. Will Alaka catching Chris Vitale back behind home plate after getting the last few starts at first. Jonathan Parker with the night off as Poe playing first tonight. VL1 swung on, fouled back, and the counts quickly 0 2. So three batters, three quick 0 2 counts. Got the first two batters to pop out. Looking for a 1 2 3 scoreless. Top of the first. The 0 2. Outside corner. Counts a ball and two strikes. Estrada's count ended up getting to 2 and 2 before a pop out to Hunter Wells. Standahar's count was 0 and 2 when he popped out to Little Lock. Vitalik could end it here. From the windup, the 1 2. Chase the pitch low. Rookover fouls it off his foot. And he will see another pitch from Vitalik. The lefty from Erie Community College in Chituaga, New York. Where's number 26 for the Pilots? The 1 2 to Brooklyn. Reaches out of the zone, fouls it back down the first base line. And we will do it again. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Brookover, the first baseman for the Jammers, is the hitter against Chris Vitale. From the windup, the pitch. Off speed, lined into left, sends Loeffler back. He will find it, glove it, and make the play for out number three. Chris Vitale works a one, two, three, top of the first. Jamestown Jammers, nothing. New York Pilots, coming to back. Welcome back. Bottom of the first inning. Chris Vitale gets the Jammers to go one, two, three. And now it's Michael Ginther's turn. Ginther, a 6'7 southpaw from Canisius College. He's starting his seventh game of the summer. He's 4-0 with a 370 ERA. 34 innings pitched, 30 hits, 17 runs, 14 of those earned, 11 walks, and 22 strikeouts. The defense behind Ginther goes like this. Left to right in the outfield, John Conti, Skyler Valentine, and Colin Stack. Left to right in the infield, Chris Estrada, Alex O'Donnell, Jimmy Standahar, and Ben Brookover. And catching Ginther, it's Connor Rule. Leading off for the Newark Pilots, it's Mark McKenna, their Canisius College center fielder. The only lefty that Ginther will face in this Pilots lineup. McKenna, teammates with Ginther at Canisius College. Ginther walks all the way down to second base before heading to the mound to face his Canisius teammate. Last night in the 9-4 win over Elmira, McKenna went 2-3 for three with two runs and two walks. 
Reach base four times. First pitch swinging, grabs it up the middle. Stand to hard to his right, plays it on a hop, and throws on to first to retire McKenna. So the center fielder is retired. Rest of the Pilots lineup. Batting second, playing short, Graham Hackford. Batting third, playing third, Hunter Wells. Batting fourth, playing second, Will Locker. The designated hitter, batting fifth, Over Torres. Batting sixth, playing right, Colton Carney. Batting seventh, playing left, Josh Wolfer. Batting eighth, playing first, Coach Juan Pon. And batting ninth, playing second base, Christian Orr. First pitch to Graham Hackbart, missed low, counts 1 0. Graham batting 240 on the year with a 336 on base percentage. Swings at the 1 0 offering from Ginter, bows it back. Now it's even at a ball and a strike. Add the one in the out column. We got ones across the top of the scoreboard. The 1 1. Swung on, fouled back. Counts one ball and two strikes. Hackworth comes in at 25 hits on the year and 104 at bats. He went 0 for 3 last night, but drove a run with a sacrifice fly and scored a run when he was hit by a pitch. Rounds this one off the third base bag into left. Hackworth is going to have the first hit of the ball game, a one out single. And the Pilots have a base runner. Now, I'm going to the play for your Pilots. Third base Estrada, the Robert jammer's third, third baseman, base was in attack. position to field that ground ball, but a lucky bounce for the pilot's shortstop. It goes into left, and we have our first base run of the night as the switch hitting Hunter Wells comes up to the plate. Batting from the right against the lefty, Ginther takes a first pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Wells batting 387 with a 474 on base percentage, has 24 hits for the pilot's. In the All Star game, VL1 swung on a foul out of play. He's behind in the count, no balls, two strikes. After Chris Vitale got the Jammers 1 2 3 on three pop outs in the top of the first. Mark McKenna first pitch swinging off his Kanisha's teammate, grounded out to second, and then a single from Hackworth. Wells goes the other way, grounded to Standahar 1, and the throw goes in to left. So a fielder's choice. And an E4 from Jimmy Standahar allows Hackworth to stay at second. So no base hit for Wells on the fielder's choice. Would have been a tough play for Standahar trying to get the lead runner Hackworth on the slow hit round ball, but tried for it and was unable to make the play. The batter will be Will Alaka with two runners on. First pitch down out stick outside. Counts one and up. Alaka batting 270 with a 364 on base percentage. Has 30 hits and 111 at bats. In third comes set. Looks back at Hackford. The 1 0. Lined down the right field line. Foul. Even at a ball and strike. One ball, one strike, one out, two pilots, base runners on after a single, and then a fielder's choice error. The 1-1 one, one to a locker. Take in low, counts two balls, and will strike. Will back behind the plate for the pilots, catching Chris Vitale's start. Where's number 27 from the University of Virginia? The 2-1, swinging, fouls this one back, the same spot as the first one, counts two balls and two strikes. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Ginther looks back, now to fires. Outside corner, and the count is full. The Pilots catcher, Olaka. Their number two RBI guy, he's got 21 on the year. Their number one RBI guy, Over Torres, waits on deck. The cleanup hitter, Olaka. The payoff pitch. Swung on, fouled back, and we will have another pitch. After a leadoff ground out by McKenna, Graham Hackbarth singled off the third base bag for the first hit. Hunter Wells reached on a fielder's choice. Hackbarth stayed at second on an E4. It's a 3-2 count to Alaka, the pilot's catcher. Ginther looks back at Hackbarth, now fires. Alaka takes strike three. He's called looking on strikes, and there's two away. 
Hitter number three, Homer Torres. Carter Rule will go out and talk to Ginter. Ahead of the at bat to Over Torres. The pilot's designated hitter tonight started last night in right. He went two for five with three runs batted in. He's got 31 hits, which is ranks him second on the team in 106 at bats. He's driven in 23. If you can find outfield grass, likely to be his 24th. Two outs, two on. Bottom of the first, Michael Ginther looking to match zeros with his counterpart, Chris Vitale. First pitch to Torres. Taken off the plate. Counts one ball and no strikes. Torres comes into tonight, second in the league with 33 strikeouts. He's the pilot's designated hitter. Wearing number three, the 1 0. Taken high. Now it's 2 0. Batting 292. Represented the West in the prospect game on Tuesday. Won the furthest outfield throw competition and came in fourth in the home run derby. It's a 2 0 count on the pilot's designated hitter. The pitch taken low. Rule faked like he was going to throw behind Wells at first, but broke over late on the cover. And it counts 3-0 on Torres. The 3-0 takes a strike on the outside corner. Thought about offering at it, but lays off. And it counts three balls and one strike. Three balls, one strike, two on, two outs. Ginther fires. Swung on, foul the back. We will do it again. Payo pitch upcoming to Torres. Ginther fires, runners go, ball four. The bases are loaded with two outs. A single, an, a fielder's choice error, and the walk has loaded us up with just one hit here in the bottom of the first, and the batter's Colton Carney. Colton batting 275 with a 403 on base percentage, has 14 hits, eight of those hits for extra bases. Four doubles, three triples, and a home run. He's driven in 13, has a RBI opportunity here. First pitch swinging, fouls it off the end of the bat. That's on one. A right-handed swinging right fielder, Colton Carney. Started in Jamestown on Sunday, went one for four. Swung on and fouled back again. He's quickly behind in the count. No balls and two strikes. No balls, two strikes, two outs. The pitch. Swung on and missed strike three. Carney down swinging. So the Pilots load the bases with just one hit on the bottom of the first. And Michael Ginther works out of it. After one inning of play, matching zeros between the two lefties here at Colburn Park.
Welcome back to the top of the second heart of the order for the Jamestown Jammers. Four, five, and six against Chris Vitali, who, got, who went one, two, three in the top of the first on three flyouts. The Pilots loaded up the bases with a hit, a fielder's choice error, and a walk. But a strikeout of Colton Carney stranded the two runners there. First pitch run by Cali, way outside, counts 1-0. Oh. Skyler Valentine is the batter, the center fielder from the University of Texas, San Antonio. Batting 350 on the year, has 49 hits. one oh fired in for a strike. We're even at a ball and a strike. The 49 hits for Valentine rank him second behind his teammate Ben Brookover. The 1-1, one, one. taken upstairs, counts two balls and a strike. The first three batters in the game, Vitaly started off 0-2 on all three. It's a 2-1 count now on Valentine. Swings through a high fastball. And Vitaly evens up the count at two balls and two strikes. Skyler Valentine, the hitter, started in the All-Star game on Tuesday. He went 0-3. The 2-2 bounced, and the count is full. The first full count of the night for Chris Vitale. And Willowlocker will go out and talk to him ahead of the payoff pitch to Valentine. Valentine has walked 29 times on the year. He ranks second. Has a long way to go if he wants to catch the leader, Chris Conley. Valentine comes in with 29. Conley leads the lead with 45. Alaka has a word with the home plate umpire. Now we'll set up ahead of the payoff pitch to Chris Vitale, or from Chris Vitale. Skyler Valentine from the windup. Taken outside, ball four. The first base runner to reach off of Vitale tonight. With a walk, it's Skylar Valentine, his 30th walk of the summer. Right field, number nine, Colin Stack. That'll bring up the right-handed swinging right fielder, Colin Stack, from the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. He's a junior there. Vitaly from the stretch for the first time tonight. First pitch is a called strike one. Stack with 38 hits, has a 295 batting average. Has driven in 28 runs. Second in the league with five triples. A wild pitch gets away from Olaka. Valentine moves up to second, and the Jammers have their first runner in scoring position. Count is now 1 0 on Colin Stack. The right handed swinging right fielder for Jamestown. No batting gloves look. Wells about a step off the grass at third. Rest of the infield deep. Vitaly looks back at second, the 1 1. Popped up. Hack Barth back will call for it. A few steps into the outfield grass for out number one. So the third or the fourth flyout of the night off Chris Vitaly. And there's one away here as Alex O'Donnell steps up to the plate. O'Donnell was the hero last night for the Jammers. Had a two-run walk-off hit to beat the Geneva Red Wings last night at Dietrich Park in Jamestown. He comes in two tonight, has the sixth worst batting average among qualified hit hitters. Need 2.7 plate appearances per game to qualify for the batting title. His 221 is the sixth worst. His 310 on base percentage is the fifth worst in the league. Among qualified hitters, he takes low, counts 1 0. But through all that, struggling at the plate, he's driven in 28 runs on the summer, ranks him sixth. Vitaly comes set the 1 0. Breaking ball. And now Alaka will head out. To talk to his starter ahead of the 2 0. Alex O'Donnell comes into the matchup with the Pilots. In seven previous games, he's 5 for 28, batting just 179. That's newer pitching this year. Well, 
Wells still in at the bag at third. The rest of the field still deep. It's a 2 0 count. And Alex O'Donnell, the shortstop for the Jammers, the 2 0. Holds strike one. Vitaly looks in. It's a 2 1 count. Valentine leads off second. Vitaly looks at him. 2 1 pitch misses in the dirt. And the count's 3 and 1 on O'Donnell. Looking for his 17th walk of the summer in a hitter's count. Here against Chris Vitaly. Working from the stretch. Three balls, one strike, one out. Valentine leads off second, reached on a leadoff walk. Stack was then retired on a pop out, so there's one on and one out here in the top of the second. No score at Colburn Park. Vitaly looks in at a locker, finds his pitch, and comes set. The 3 1. Bounced in front of a locker. O'Donnell will head down to first with the second walk of the inning. There's a first place second. The jammer, Just one out. Connor. As Connor Rule steps up. Rule started in the prospect game and struck out looking both times. He came up to the plate, looks down at his third base coach. Ahead of this first pitch, Chris Vitale. Batting 239, he's a freshman at Kansas State. The only player in this Jamestown lineup that's not a junior. First pitch from Vitaly, breaking ball, and the locker will go out and have another conversation with his lefty starter. Counts 1 0 on Connor Hull. Two on, one out. Here we're in the top of the second. Two walks, and a pop out sandwich in between. The pilots loaded up the bases in the bottom of the first. But a Michael Ginter strikeout of Colton Carney ended the Pilots' threat in the first. No score here. No runs, no hits. One error for the Jammers. No runs, no hits. No errors for the Pilots. Vitaly, after a quick one, two, three, first, worked himself into some trouble here in the second. Comes at set. Looks back, the one up. Swung on and missed. Counts 1-1. One, one. one ball, one strike, one out. Connor Rule, the freshman catcher from Kansas State, up at the plate. An RBI opportunity is driven in 14 on the summer. Vitaly looks back, runners go. Throw down to second. Not going to be in time. It's a double steal for Valentine and O'Donnell. And there's two runners in scoring position. It was a called strike to Connor Rule, so he's behind in the count. One ball and two strikes. The stolen bases, it's Valentine's 12th. And O'Donnell's 5th. The one two from Vitaly grounded up the middle. Or will play it on a hop. This is going to be a run. Makes the play, but Connor Rule picks up the game's first RBI as Colin or Skyler Valentine comes around to score on the fielder's choice. Alex O'Donnell moves up 90 feet to third, and there's two away. It's the 15th RBI for Connor Rule, the 33rd run for Skyler Valentine. He ranks fourth in the league with 33 runs. And the batter is the left-handed hitting left fielder, John Conte. First pitch from Vitaly, a called strike one. One run here in the inning, an RBI ground out from Connor Rule. One strike pitch, Conte squares to drag bunt. Pulls it back, takes upstairs, counts one and one. Conti from Canisius, 28 for 81 on the year. Batting 346. 346 batting average, 
ranks in ninth. Counts now two and one on the left handed swinging left fielder Conti. Vitaly's pitch upstairs. Counts three and one. One run, no hits in the inning. Two walks from the left arm of Vitaly. The three one. Ball four. Conti works a walk. Now there's runners on the corners. With two away. That'll lead to a mound visit from the pitching coach Bennett Schiltz. A walk, a pop up, a walk, a double steal, an RBI ground out, and another walk. Runners on the corners and two outs. One nothing. Jamestown has taken the lead without the luxury of a hit. Pilots come in, winners of three in a row. Five of seven and seven of nine. They are a Western Division best seven and three in their last ten games. They're no longer in the cellar of the Western Division, although they are the most games back of the leaders, James Hunt. First pitch from Vitaly to Deaton. Counts 1-0. Oh. They're, they're 14 and a half games behind Jamestown. Adirondack is just 14. However, Adirondack has a lower winner, winning percentage than the Pilots. The 1-0 oh to Deaton. Taking counts even at a ball and a strike. Even the designated hitter from California State Bakersfield has just nine hits and 53 at bats. Below the Mendoza line at 170. There's a sleeve on his left arm. The 1 1. Called strike two. Runners on the corners, two outs. Vitaly can limit it to just one run here in the top of the second. Vitaly comes set. Runner at second go, swung on, foul back. So Conti will have to head it back to first on the foul ball from Ian. That remains a ball two strikes. An RBI ground out in this inning from prospect game representative Connor Rule. For the Jammers hit a one nothing lead. Runner goes by Tally. Had him picked off. Poe did not throw down to second to try to get O'Donnell, or try to get Conti. Tried to throw to third behind O'Donnell, the tag from Hunter Wells just late. So Conti moves up, and there's runners on second and third with two outs. So Vitaly had... Conti picked off, but unable to do anything with that. He in swings through that, fouls it back. He counts one and two. Infield deep. It's a one-two count on Christian Beaton. One-two, slowly grounded. Foul, and we will do it again. One ball, two strikes, two outs. One run home, two runners on. No hits, three walks in the end. Vitaly looking to work himself out of trouble. And do it with a strike right here to beat him. The one two. Breaking ball slips out of his hand, and we're even at two balls and two strikes. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two runners in scoring position for the Jammers. Leadoff man Chris Estrada waits on deck. Vitaly looking to end it here with the number nine hole hitter. The 2 2 upstairs, and the count is full. So, in danger of walking, the base is loaded here with two outs.
The payoff pitch. Ball four and the bases are loaded. The fourth walk in the inning from Vitali. The batter will be Chris Estrada. Estrada, the first baseman, popped up in foul territory to Hunter Wells his first time up. First pitch is low from Vitali. Counts 1 0. Base is full of jammers. Vitali has walked them loaded. The 1 0. Ball to strike one at the belt. Four walks, three stolen bases, and then an RBI ground out from Connor Rule has led to a one in the run column here in the inning. Vitali looking to limit it at just that 1 1 pitch grounded. Funky hop off of Wells. It's a single in to left. An RBI for Chris Estrada, and it's 2 nothing. Everyone else moves up 90 feet. The bases are still loaded. So the first hit in the game for the Jammers. O'Donnell comes around to score his 19th run. It's the 34th run batted in for Estrada, and it's 2 to nothing. Two outs as the eighth batter in the inning, Jimmy Standahar, comes up. Popped out in front of the Pilots' dugout in foul territory to Little Locker, the catcher, his first time up. The eighth batter in the inning, the second baseman for the Jammers. First pitch from Vitali. Called strike one. Standahar, the junior from Mercyhurst. Aces full of jammers. A one strike pitch. Breaking ball that doesn't break. Counts even at a ball and strike. The bases are loaded. Left to right. Conti, Deaton, and Estrada. Two runs in the inning on four walks, just one hit. A 1 1. Popped up. Down the first baseline. Poe flips off his hat. Colton Carney into a slide, will not get there. And the counts of ball and two strikes on standoff. So two balls, two strikes. One ball, two strikes. Two outs. You'll be second baseman for the Jamestown Jammers. We're here in the top of the second. Jammers lead two to nothing. Two runs home in this inning, an RBI single from Chris Estrada that took a funky hop on Hunter Wells, and then an RBI ground out from Connor Rule. The 1 2 popped up again. This one out of play, and we will do it again. This is a full of jammers. Two outs, top of the second. It's a 1 2 count on Jim Standahar. Vitali from the windup. The one two popped up. This one playable. Poe will call for it and make the play in fair territory for out number three. So Standahar makes the final out after Chris Vitali works himself in and out of trouble. Four walks and a single lead to two runs on the Jammer scoreboard. We head to the bottom of the second. Jamestown, two to nothing lead here at Colbert.
Might go get their worked out of a bases loaded jam in the bottom of the first. Then his offense went and got him two runs in the top of the second. On an RBI ground out from Connor Rule and an RBI single from Chris Estrada. First pitch to Josh Loeffler taken outside. Counts one and up. Ginther walk a single, two strikeouts in that bottom of the first. It'll be seven, eight, and nine. Loeffler, Poe, and Christian Holt. The one out. Now is even at a ball and a strike. Loeffler batting 250, the University of Connecticut freshman. 382 on base percentage. Has 11 hits and 44 at bats. The 1 1. This is low and counts 2 and 1 on Walker. Has 5 of his 11 hits for extra bases. Counts 2 balls and a strike. Checks his swing. They're going to see if he went around. They say he did not. He counts 3 balls and a strike on the Pilots. Left fielder. The 3 1. Taking high ball four, and the Pilots have a leadoff base runner here in the second. The second walk of the game. And that'll bring up Poe. Poe, the first baseman tonight for the Pilots. He's from Fujian Catholic. And Taiwan City, Taiwan. Fujian is a Catholic university in New Taipei City, Taiwan. He's playing first base tonight for the Pilots against the lefty Ginther. First pitch swinging, fouls it back, counts on one. Ginther throws over, Loeffler head first slide back in safely. The Onondaga Flames defeated the Adirondack Trailblazers in game one of their doubleheader, two to one. So the Pilots now four and a half games behind the Flames for playoff contention. Three games in the win column, six in the loss column. They are set to begin game two shortly. Poe swings at a pitch up the zone, fouls it back out of play, counts 0 2. Oneonta leads the Geneva Red Wings, two to one, at Damascus Field. In the top of the third, count is now one ball and two strikes. And the Elmira Pioneers are off. That's your Western Division out-of-town update. As all teams are fighting for playoff position and playoff seeding. One-two from Ginther. Popped up. Playable down the right field line. Stack comes up. And lets that ball drop in front of him. Looked like it was playable out there. But Poe will get another pitch. Has a 1-2 count. Comes in 8 for 48. The 167 batting average and a 298 on base percentage. Has driven in 5. He scored 3. The 1-2. Line foul the other way. Counts 2 balls and 2 strikes. Poe playing first base tonight for the Pilots, making his second start there. It's a 1-2 count. The pitch low. We're even at two balls and two strikes. Poe wearing number nine. He's familiar with... American baseball participated in the 2009 Little League World Series at Williamsport. The 2-2 Loeffler goes, swung on, fouled back. Loeffler will head back to first. Poe's Chinese Taipei team won the international championship versus Mexico. The loss to Chula Vista, California in the 2009 Little League World Series finals. Poe played second base for... Chinese Taipei in that tournament. Ginther comes set the 2-2. Loeffler not running this time. Misses upstairs, and the count is pulled to Poe. Looking to work his 10th walk of the summer. Loeffler at first being held on by Brookover. Ginther looks over. Loeffler goes. Swung on, foul back. He will do it again.
So Poe, about to see his 10th pitch of the at-bat from Ginther. Has worked this count full. Lawfler leads off first, was running the last time. Ginther throws over. Lawfler back in safely ahead of the tag from Brookover. Lawfler trying to get a head start. See if he runs again. He is not going this time. Poe breaks his bat and pops this one up. Playable for Estrada. A few steps onto the foul territory for out number one. Makes the play. So Poe retired. Uses his bat in the process. The batter is Christian Orr. Orr has his average all the way up to 255 after starting the year 0 for 23. He is 13 for 28 since. Ginther throws over. Loeffler back in safely. Loeffler has stolen just one base in one attempt this summer for the Pilots. Appearing in his 17th game. Ginther comes set. First pitch to Orr. This is outside. Counts 1-0. Christian starting at second base tonight. Had the night off last night. Scored the go-ahead run against these jammers when he pinch ran for Zach Santoro. Pops this one up down the right field line. Stack over, playable. Let's this one fall in front of him again in the count. He's a ball and a strike on Christian Orr. Orr's last start came in Oneonta. When the pilot's second baseman went 0 for 3 with two walks. Also reached out an error in that game. Walker off first being held on by Brookover. Reached on a leadoff walk. The 1-1 one, one will have to wait as Ginther throws over. Jamestown got two in the top half of this second. On four walks, an RBI fielder's choice and an RBI single. The 1-1. One, one. This is outside. Counts two balls and one strike. He played three half innings. Each team has left the bases loaded at least once. Christian or takes hit, checks his swing, takes a pitch on the outside corner, and counts three balls and a strike. Both teams with one hit. One spot in the error column and a two spot in the run column for the Jammers. They lead it. The 3 1. Swinging, fouled out of play. And the count is full. Back to back full counts to the pilot's eight and nine hole hitters. Got Poe to break his bat and pop out his last time up. Or his at bat for out number one. Waffler leads off first. Inther throws over. Waffler back in safely. If they're standing at 6-7 on the mound. Waffler goes, payoff pitch, swung on, foul back. We'll do it again. So the 6-7 Ginther working to the 5-10 or The 5-10 Waffler land on that 3-2 pitch. It just went out, but the ball landed foul. 3-2 pitch grounded, slowly to third. Estrada feels it, only play to first. He makes it. Fielder's choice allows Lawler to move up to second. And there's two ways. As we flip the lineup back towards the top. For Mark McKenna. McKenna against his Canisius College teammate tonight. Swung at the first pitch of the game for the Pilots and grounded it out to Stan Hart second. An RBI opportunity here. He's driven in 17. Ranks fourth on the team. Behind Torres, Alaka, and Battaglia. First pitch from McKenna. Swinging, lines this one into left. Loeffler rounds third. He's going to be held as the throw by Conti is cut off. McKenna's seen two pitches. He's swung both times, and he's one for two. Wolfler moves up to third, and there's runners on the corners from Graham Hackford. 
Pat Barth. Pat Barth had the first hit of the game, his first time up, a ground ball off the third base bag in front of Estrada. Pilots with the runners on the corners. The McKenna hit was their second of the game. Ginther comes set, first pitch to Hackworth. Thought about it, lays off, and it's a called strike one. One strike pitch, outside corner, called strike two. Ginther looks in at Connor Luke. It's an 0-2 count on Hackbarth. McKenna goes, swung on and missed. Strike three, inning over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and two men left on base. We played two here at Colbert Park, the Pilots. Trail. Ben Brook over Skylar Valentine, Colin Stack, 3, 4, and 5 off Chris Vitale. The Pilots got runners to the corners with two outs, but Inter, like he did, straining the bases loaded in the first, struck out Graham Hackbarth, who strained runners on the corners. The Pilots have stranded five runners on the base pass through the first two, and they trail the Jamestown Jammers 2 to nothing. Vitaly saw eight batters in the top of the second, gave up four walks, a single, and two runs. The 1 0 2 Brookover swung on, foul back, or even at a ball strike. Then Brookover flew out deep to Loeffler in left his first time up. He's the first baseman for the Jammers. Junior from the University of Texas, San Antonio. The 1 1. Pitch taken outside. We're even at a ball to strike. Vitaly, the lefty, working here in his third inning. To look over the right. It's 2 0 Jamestown lead here at Colburn Park. The 2 1. Swung on, fouled back. We're even at two balls and two strikes. A minute shy of 8 o'clock here on this Thursday evening. It's a battle of southpaws here. Chris Vitale from Erie Community College and Michael Gifford from Canisius College. A 2 2. Lined past the diving glove of Hackbarth into left. It's a single for Ben Brookover. And the leadoff man is on for the Jammers here in the third. Coming up to the Jammers, center fielder number two, Skyler Valentine. The batter will be Skylar Valentine, the cleanup hitter. Walked, stole third, and scored the game's first run on a Connor Rule fielder's choice ground out. It's a 2 0 Jammers game. By Tally comes set from the stretch. It's a called strike one. By Tally in his sixth start of. Summer, six start in a row. 
after eight appearances out of the pen to start the year. Valentine could not hold up at the breaking ball low from Vitaly. And he's ahead of the count, no balls and two strikes. Sun beginning to set here. And Newark, the 0 2. Bounce in front of a lock and keeps it in front of him. To prevent Brookover from going anywhere. And it counts a ball two strikes. One ball, two strikes. The lead off man, we reached on a single, leads off first, being held on by Pope. The two or the one two swung on and missed. Strike three. Skyler Valentine down the swing. First straight out of the bank for Vitaly in his 26th of the summer. Colin Stack, right-handed swinging right fielder for the Jammers, popped out to Hackworth. He was the first time up from UNDC. First pitch from Vitaly. It's a breaking ball. And a called strike one. Vitaly looks in, bails even at the bag at third, one strike pitch. Too far inside. Counts one and one. One ball, one strike, one out, one on. One hit in the inning for the Jammers. Look over being held on by Poe. Vitaly looks that way. Time called as Vitaly fires in the one one pitch, missed low, but it won't count. We're even at a ball and a strike. Stack called for a time that was granted by the home plate umpire. It's a 1-1 one -one count. Pitch misses low and counts 2-1. Two one. Lined it down the left field line. This ball will land just foul. Which is away from extra bases for stack, but it's a two-two count instead. Right-handed swing right field before the jammers popped out in his first time up. Off single from Brookover, then a strikeout to Valentine. Here in this top of the third, by Tally from the stretch to 2 2. Out in front, it's Stat Poe over down the right field line. Will not make the play in foul territory, and Stat will see another pitch. Vitaly made it about as far as Poe and Christian Orr did down the right field line going after that pop up. Pilots coming to you tonight 14 and 26 on the summer, 7 and 13 here at Colburn Park. 2 2 swung on and missed, throw down by Alaka. Not in time. It's a stolen base by Ben Brookover, the fourth jammer stolen base. A strikeout to Colin Stack, and there's two away. So there's a runner in scoring position for Alex O'Donnell. Walked, stole second, and scored the game's second run. So no official A-B for the Jammer shortstop. Counts 1-0 no on O'Donnell. Junior from Mercyhurst, 27 for 122 on the summer. The 1 0 called strike one. Scored his 18th run and picked up his fifth stolen bases in six tries. His last time up. Vitaly double checks on Brookover, now fires the 1 1, which is swung on and fouled back. Counts a ball and two strikes. Uh, 
One ball, two strikes, two outs. Vitaly comes set, looks back, now fires. Grounded to Wells, plays it on a hop. Fires across the diamond. Poe keeps his foot on the bag for out number three. A leadoff single, wasted. No runs, one hit, no errors, and one man left on base. We head to the bottom of the third. When the pilots take their swings, they'll see. Two nothing deficit on the Culver Park scoreboard. Three, four, and five here for the Pilots in the bottom of the third, the switch hitting Hunter Wells, who made the final play, almost made a throwing error, but the, catch, the first baseman, Poe, a big stretch and saved a Hunter Wells error. It'll be Hunter Wells, Will Alaka, and Over Torres, an all-star and two prospect game representatives for the Pilots. Three, four, and five. They are 0 for 2 with a walk combined. First pitch swinging is Wells. Lost the grip on his bat with his top hand. He counts on one. Wells grounded into a fielder's choice his first time up, so he's 0 for 1. Fifth on the team with 16 RBIs. The one strike pitch. This is low. We even had a ball strike. Batting 387 has 24 hits and 62 at bats. Four of those 24 have gone for doubles. The 1 1. Swung on, foul back, and counts the balls and strikes. The switch hitting third baseman from Richmond, Texas, batting from the right side against the left beginner. Signed to play baseball at Louisiana Tech in the fall in the Conference USA. The 1 2. Pitch misses upstairs, counts two balls and two strikes. Played his college ball at the junior college in Tyler, Texas. Past two years. Counts two and two. Get there, come set the pitch. Lined into center field. This ball is going to be a base hit. Wells rounds first. He's heading to second. A long turn after a strong throw from Valentine keeps him at just a long single. But the Pilots have the leadoff base runner for the second inning in a row. And the batters will lock. It's the third hit of the night for the Pilots. The first for Wells, he's one for two. Alaka struck out looking with runners on first and second his first time up. Up here in the third. Wells being held on by Brookover. First pitch. Taken outside. Counts one and up. The 1-0 from Ginther. Lined into the glove of Estrada. Throw back to first. In time to double up Wells. Two outs for the price is one. For the price of one, and there's two away. So a line drive to Estrada at third. Wells gets too far off the bag. And there's two away. So a line drive double play to a locker. 
base is Wells, and the batter is Torres. With no runners on. First pitch. Paul, strike one to the pilot's designated hitter. Worked a walk on a full count his last time, Mark. From Yavapai Community College, the one strike pitch. Paul, strike two. In third comes set Torres behind in the count. This one way outside. Connor Rule unable to even get love on it. That's multi strikes. Swung on, fouled back. Count remains a ball, two strikes. Torres from originally Elizabeth, New Jersey. Stands 6'1", 195 in the right-handed batter's box against the 6'7", Ginter. The 1-2, low, and we're even at two balls and two strikes. Add the two in the out column, we've got twos across the top of the scoreboard. 2 nothing. Jammers lead on two runs in the top of the second, off of that tally. If they're looking to match zeros here in the third. Grounded slowly to O'Donnell. He will play it on a hop. Strong throw pulls Brook over off the bat. An infield single for Over Torres, and the pilots have a two out base runner for Colton Carney. Carney struck out swinging with the bases loaded his first time up. Pilots have a one out or two out base runner after the infield single from Torres. First pitch swinging is Carney pops it up. Rule playable in front of the screen. Makes the catch for out number three. No runs, two hits. No errors and one man left on base. We played three. The pilots trip. Two to nothing. Seven, eight, and nine. Connor Rule, John Conti, Christian Beaton. First pitch call strike to the Kansas State catcher. Rule grounded out to Christian Orr, but drove in the game's first run his first time up. Made the final play in the bottom of the third, a pop out from Colton Carney. Pilots have left six runners on through the first three. Swung on and missed. Rule chase. A pitch outside now for Denver. out number one. Three pitches six. and a strikeout from Vitaly. That'll bring up the number nine hole or the number eight hole hitter, the left handed swinging left fielder, John Conti. Walked his first time up. Vitaly's given up 
Two singles, two runs, four walks. He struck out three for the first three and a third. First pitch to Conti. Misses low. Counts one and out. So the first out of the zone in the inning from the Pilots' southpaw. The one out of Conti. Gets the inside corner. And the even up ball to strike. Add the one in the out column, and there's ones across the top of the scoreboard. One. Called straight two. It's a one two count on Conti. The pitch bounced. That's two balls and two strikes. Chris Vitale getting the start for the Pilots here. Second game since he also had 2-2 two -two on the outside corner. Strike three. Conti down looking for out number two. The fourth strikeout of the night for Vitale. The second of the inning. He struck out four of the last five. And the batter is Christian Deaton. Left-handed hitting designated hitter from California State Bakersfield. Walked. His first time up was the final of the four walks in the second. First pitch from Vitali inside corner called strike one. So one strike count. There's two outs. First two batters retired on strikes. A one called strike two. Vitali out here in the top of the fourth throwing strikes for the pilots. From his windup, the two strike pitch. Grounded up the middle or over to his right. Fires to first. Scooped by Poe to make the play for out number three. One, two, three inning here for the Jammers. In the top of the fourth, we head to the bottom half. Loeffler, Poe, and Christian Orr for the Pilots. They trail two to nothing. Bad practice. Michael Ginter back on the mound. Vitaly got his second 1-2-3 inning of the night. Struck out two and then a ground out to Christian Orr to end the threat. It'll be Josh Loeffler, Poe, and Christian Orr. Loeffler led off the second with a walk. Here he is leading off the fourth. First pitch from Ginter outside for one. Pilots have four singles, two walks, and left six on. Have not scored a run, Loeffler. Chases a pitch outside. Counts a ball to strike. Walker, the freshman left fielder from the University of Connecticut. 
the one one which is bounced bounce two balls and a strike stands at 510-193 from Manlius, New York takes low and counts three balls and a strike looking for his second walk and of the night ninth of the summer where's number five the three one from Ginther swung on and missed and the count is full so a full count on Walker, the pilot's left fielder, worth the walk his first time up, so without an official at that tonight. The bail finish swung on, foul back. We will do it again. Western Division scoreboard update. Geneva has taken the lead. They now lead Oneonta 5-2 in the top of the fourth as Waffler strikes out swinging for out number one. The third strike out of the night by Michael Gindler. And the Adirondack Trail goes into the Adirondack Field is tied at zero. In game two and top of the second. Onondaga get one game, one, two to one. Both games they're playing at Onondaga Community College are seven innings. Pilots have one more with Onondaga and two, or two more with Onondaga and one with Adirondack. Lazy fly ball out to left field. John Conti over and under it for out number two. So the one pitch out to the Pilots first base. And the batter is Christian Orr. Or the second baseman from... Oregon, Ohio, recently graduated Clay High School in June. The attending Saginaw Valley State next year. First pitch swinging. Outs on one. Rounded out to Estrada at third, his first time up. Made the final out of the top half of this fourth. The one strike pitch. Swung on and missed. Outs on two. Four has scored 19 runs, has five RBIs, and walked 18 times. Two strike pitch from Ginther, taken outside, a waste pitch. The count is a ball and two strikes. Or first, or we'll make that second on the team with the 18 walks. The one two, taken off the plate, counts two balls and two strikes. Christian appearing in his 20th game on the summer, starting his 17th. Has come in two as a replacement on defense, two as a pinch runner. Now is now full to the pilot second baseman, the number nine hole hit. Ginther from the stretch, the payoff pitch. Swung on, foul back, we'll do it again. The payoff pitch, taking low, ball four. Christian Orr heads down to the first with a two-out walk. The third walk of the night from Michael Ginter. The batter is Mark McKenna. The leadoff man for the Pilots has seen two pitches tonight. Grounded out to second and then roped a single the other way in the left. The only lefty in this Pilots lineup against Ginter. First pitch swinging again. Counts on one. Up here for the third time and now four innings. He's one for two. There's number 25 from Grand Island, New York. Or goes. McKenna swinging lines this into right. Or goes first to third. It's the second hit of the night for Mark McKenna. His 32nd hit of the year moves him into second place. And there's runners on the corners with two X. And the batter is Graham Hackworth. Hackworth was driven in 12, has an opportunity here to drive in the pilot's first run of the night. He's one for two against Michael Ginther tonight. The pilots have sent now two more batters to the plate than Jamestown has. Hackworth swings through the first pitch. Now it's on one. Singled in the first for the game's first hit and then struck out in the second, he's one for two. Looking to extend this inning. 
and perhaps drive in or DL1 lined into center field. This is going to be an RBI base hit as it goes into the gap. McKenna rounds second. He heads to third. He'll stop right there. Throw goes into second. It's an RBI base hit for Graham Hackbarth. Cuts the lead in half. It's two to one. So an RBI double for Graham Hackbarth cuts the lead in half. Three straight base runners with two outs. And the batter is Hunter Wells. McKenna goes first to third. Christian Orr scores his 20th run. On the RBI double from Graham Hackworth. The batter is Hunter Wells. The 12th RBI for Graham. Wells one for two tonight. Has 16 RBIs, a chance to drive in two with a base hit. First pitch from Ginther swinging. Lazy fly ball into short center field. This ball is going to drop. McKenna's going to score. Hackbart's going to score. It's a two run single for Hunter Wells, and the Pilots are in front. Three to two. Have the lead for the first time tonight. A lazy fly ball past the glove of Sandahar. Wells drives in his 17th and 18th. And the Pilots lead it 3-2. to two. Four straight two-out base runners for the Pilots here with two outs. Will Alaka steps in. First pitch to Alaka. Ball strike. He's 0 for 2 tonight. Struck out looking, then lined into a double play. Christian Orr worked a walk with two outs to keep this inning going. A McKenna single, a Hackbark double, and then a Wells 2-1 single. We have a 3-2 lead as Ginther throws over towards first. The one-strike pitch. Swinging, fouled it back. Counts 0-2 on a locker. Strike pitch, Ginter comes set, Wells goes. Pitch outside, rules throw down, not in time. It's a stolen base for Hunter Wells. He heads down to second on his ninth stolen base of the summer. Has not been caught. So Ginter now with the runner on second. This becomes an RBI opportunity for a locker. Looking to keep this two-out rally going. The one-two. Pitch misses outside. Counts two and two. Four straight two-out base runners for the Pilots. Ginther comes set, looks back at Wells. The 2-2 lined into center field. This is going to be a base hit. Wells is getting around third. He's coming home. It's an RBI single for Will Alaka. His 22nd RBI on the year, and it's 4-2. Wells comes around to score his 13th run. And the batter is over Torres. Five straight. Two out base runners for the Pilots. And the batter is over Torres. First pitch. Checks his swing in the dirt. Alaka down to second. Connor Rule kept the ball in front of him. So a stolen base for Alaka, his eighth. He has not been caught. And another runner in scoring position for the Pilots. Pitch missed. It's a 1-0 count on Torres, who's one for one with a walk tonight. 
Ginter looks back at second, 1 0. Called strike one. Torres walked in the first and had an infield single in the third. An RBI opportunity to drive in his team leading 24th. If he can find the outfield grass, Alaka leads off second after the stolen base. The 1 1. Pitch misses low. Counts two balls and a strike on Ober Torres, the pilot's designated hitter tonight. Ginter comes set. Ran into some two out trouble, the 2 1. Torres checks his swing. This time he goes around. And we're even at two balls and two strikes. The pilots with four in this half inning. An RBI a double from Graham Hackford, a two RBI single from Wells, and an RBI single from Malaka. Came into this inning down two. They're going to leave it at least up by two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. To Over Torres. The pitch from Ginther. Called strike three at the knees. Torres down looking. But the pilots get four. Four runs, four hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We played four frames. Pilots with a 4 2 lead. After going 1-2-3 in the top of the fourth, Chris Vitale's offense gets him four in the bottom half. Four runs after five straight two-out base runners on the scoreboard. First pitch swinging is Chris Estrada. McKenna over a few steps to his right in center. Finds it, gloves it, and makes the play for out number one here in the fifth. Vitale with a 4-2 lead as he works into his fifth inning of work. Christian Orr got it started with a two-out walk, then a single from McKenna, an RBI double from Hackford, a two-RBI single from Wells, and an RBI single from Alok. The Pilots also stole two bases in their half inning. They lead it four to two. Two runs, two hits, one error for Jamestown. Four hits, eight, or four runs, eight hits, no errors for Newark. Vitali from the windup, first pitch. This is low, counts one and oh. Estrada flew out to the center on the first pitch of this inning. Now the second baseman, Jimmy Sandhawk, has popped out and foul territory twice, once to Olaka and once to Poe. Out is now 2-0 and on Sandhawk. Zach Mann beginning to throw down in the pilot's pen as Chris Vitale's pitch count has escalated here. The 2-0. Swinging down the right field line. Colton Carney sprinting over. He will come into a slide. But run out of room as his ball lands out of play. He counts two balls and a strike on Standahar. The all-star second baseman is 0 for 2 tonight against Vitali. Pilot Southpaw from Erie Community College. Pilots with a 4-2 to two lead after four two-out runs in the bottom of the fourth. 
back-to-back -back scoreless frames from Chris Vitale after working to himself into some trouble in the second. He leads this one four to two. From the windup, the two one. Taken upstairs and the counts three and one on Standahar. Looking to work his 19th walk of the summer. Vitali steps back on the 3 1. Upstairs, ball four. The fifth walk of the night for Vitali. Puts a one out man on as Ben Brookover comes to the plate. He's one for two tonight, leads the perfect game, leads with 55 hits on the summer. Fifty-five hits and hundred and fifty-eight at bats. Standahar leads off first after the leadoff walk. He's stolen thirteen bases on the year, ranks in fifth. Vitali throws a missile over towards first. Poe holds on to it and Sandahar back in safety. Adirondack has taken a lead over on Indaga. They lead it one to nothing in the top of the third of game two there. Oneonta has closed the lead on Geneva. It's five to four. First pitch to Brookover is a called strike one. Brookover singled, then stole his fifth base of the year, his last time up in the third. That's as far as he would get as Vitali got the next three batters. The walk to Standahar broke a string of seven straight as Vitali throws over. Standahar back in safely. The Jammer second baseman has stolen 13 and 17 attempts this summer. It's a one strike count on Ben Brookover. The pitch swung on, foul back. Vitali ahead in the count, no balls and two strikes. One out here in the top of the fifth. The Pilots lead it four to two after four runs in the bottom of the fourth. You take the lead. All four runs came with two outs. Vitali on the hill from the stretch. The 0-2 popped up. Alaka will give it a look, but it will land out of play. Count remains, no balls and two strikes. Vitali about to throw his 94th pitch of the night here in one out into the fifth. He struck out four Jammers hitters, giving up just two singles and walked five. The 0 2 is lined into left. This is going to be a base hit. Sandahar up to second. Brookover goes to first, and there's runners on first and second with one out for Skyler Valentine. Struck out, walked, and stole a base, scored a run. Scored the game's first run on a Connor ruled ground out. Valentine comes in, the league leader in doubles. Scored his 33rd run. For the game's first run. The center fielder for the Jammers here in the top of the fifth. Third time through the lineup for Vitali. Zach Mann has sat down in the pilot's pen. No one warned him either pen. The shutdown inning opportunity for Vitali. Wells in at third. First pitch inside. That was one and oh. The Pilots have given up a run in 96% of the half innings following them scoring a run on the scoreboard. They've scored in 106 different half innings and given up 102 runs in the next half. The batter is Valentine. It's a 1-0 count. 
Vitaly comes set from the stretch. Two on, grounded slowly to third. Wells back, will step on the back, throw across the diamond. In time to complete the double play and end the inning. So a tough hop almost cost Wells the play. Came into a slide, touched the bag at third for out number one. Then fired to beat Skylar Valentine to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and because of the double play, just one man left on base. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Pilots doubling up the jammers. They lead it four to two. So the first move made towards the bullpen goes to the Jamestown Jammers. It's Ryan Boyer from Bradford, Pennsylvania and Pittsburgh, Bradford College. 6'1", 210 for the Jamestown Jammers. We will face Bolton Carney, Josh Lawler, and Coe. 6, 7, and 8 for the Pilots. This trio, 0 for 5 with a walk. Michael Ginther's night is over, goes four, eight hits, four earned, three walks, and strikes out five. The four earned all came in the bottom of the fourth. First pitch from Boyer, it's a fastball for strike one. Fulton struck out swinging his first time up and popped out his second time up. Pilots lead it four to two here in the bottom of the fifth. A one strike pitch. Swung on, foul tipped into the glove of the rule. Counts 0 2. The two strike pitch. Blooped in the left. Conti in Estrada back. None of them will get there. Carney's going to round first. He's heading for second. It's a leadoff double for Colton Carney and the Pilots with a man in scoring position. So right into the Bermuda Triangle down the left field line in between Conti, O'Donnell, and Estrada. None can get there. Carney picks up his fifth double, his ninth extra base hit, and his 15th hit on the summer. Ryan Boyer's numbers, seven games out of the pen, 11 hits, or 11 innings, eight, seven hits, three runs, nine walks, 15 Ks. He has a 2-4-5 earned run average. The batter is Josh Lawford. Colton Carney led with a leadoff double. He's on second. First pitch to Loeffler. Third baseman and first baseman both in. They will take a few steps back as Loeffler takes high and did not square the bunt. Walked his first time up, then struck out swinging. 
The double for Carney was the pilot's second of extra base variety in their ninth hit of the night. One zero from Boyer. Misses high, counts two and up. The 2 0 from Boyer. Carney goes. It's a called strike, it's a stolen base. For Colton Carney, it's his ninth. He has not been caught. And the Pilots have a man on third with nobody out. Looking to extend their lead. Pitch on the outside corner. A call straight to the Walther. Two balls, two strikes. Carney leads off third after the double in the stolen base. The 2-2 from Boyer, way outside. Rule has to go to the backhand to prevent that ball from getting towards the screen. And the count is full. Payoff pitch from the stretch from Boyer. The 3-2. Swung on, fouled back. We will do it again. New pitcher on, it's Ryan Boyer, in, on in relief of Michael Ginter. Zach Mann back up in the pilot's pen. Vitali close to 100 pitches, so his night likely over. Boyer goes off speed to Waffler and fools him, strikes him out for the second time tonight, and there's one out. Vitali, if the top of the fifth was in fact his final inning, after giving up a walk and a single with one out, Got Skyler Valentine to ground into a beautifully turned 5-5-3 double play that was started by Hunter Wells. Stepped on the bag at third for round number one, then a strong throw completed the double play. Poe was on the back end of that double play. Here he is with a chance to drive in Carney from third. The Jammers bring their infield in. He swings at the first pitch and he fouls it. Down the line. He's averaged now down to... 160 on the year. He's 8 for 50. 0 for 2 on the night. The Taiwanese catcher from Taiwan City. Infield in for the Jammers. Boyer on the mound from the stretch. The one strike pitch. Squares to bunt. Boyer goes inside. Back and takes ball one. One ball, one strike, one out. One on for the Pilots. They lead it 4 to 2. Two runs in the top of the second for the Jammers. Four runs in the bottom of the fourth for the Pilots. Carney leads off third. Doubled and then stole third. One out in the inning. The 1-1. One, one. Swinging. Popped it up. Out of play. Counts one and two. Poe has popped out in foul territory to the third baseman Estrada. And flew out to the left fielder Conti. His, both his outs have been to the left side tonight. Carney's double was in the short left field that neither Conti or Estrada can get to. The one-two. Swung on and missed blew a fastball right by him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts with a runner on third for Boyer. And a chance to get out of it. The batter is Christian Orr. Christian started the rally for the Pirates his last time up when he worked a full count walk, then four straight hits led to four Pilots runs. That was in the fourth. Here we are in the fifth. On third, first pitch. Orr says it's said it hits him. Home plate umpire shaking his head at the Pilots youngest player. Says no son, it did not. And the count's 1-0. Oh. So Orr digs back in the right-handed batter's box. The 1-0 oh coming from Boyer. Upstairs. This one not close to hitting Orr. And the count's 2-0. Oh. 
Two runs, three hits, one error for the Jammers. Four runs, nine hits, no errors for the Pilots. And they lead here in the bottom of the fifth. Two outs. Colton Carney stands on third. Boyer comes set from the stretch to 2 0. Upstairs, count is 3 0. In danger of flipping the lineup back over for McKenna. The 3 0 from Boyer. Upstairs, inside ball four. Or works a four pitch walk. His 20th walk of the year. He takes over the team lead in the free base category. And there's runners on the corners for Mark McKenna. McKenna is two for three. He's seen four pitches and has two singles. He will go down to third and get a verbal sign from Coach Franklin Bush as the pitching coach for the Jammers goes out and talks to Boyer. Boyer came in on a relief to start this frame. Lead off double to Colton Carney and then stole third. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to Waffler and Poe. And then a four-pitch walk to Christian Oyer brings up the top of the lineup and Mark McKenna. McKenna with a chance to extend this lead and extend this inning. Number 25, Mark McKenna. McKenna will get his first look against the righty, against his Canisius Cup teammate, went two for three. Also scored the Pilots' second run that tied us at two. Boyer comes set. First pitch to McKenna will have to wait as Boyer steps off, looks Christian Orr back to first. Orr has stolen just two bases in three attempts. Not an immediate threat to steal, but with runners on the corners. Wouldn't be surprised if he decides to go. McKenna foul tips the first pitch from Boyer into the glove of Connor Rule for strike one. See if Orr goes this time on the one strike pitch. Rook over holding him on. Orr goes, gets a good jump pitch in the dirt. Colin Carney's heading home. Orr is going to go to third. It's a stolen base that brings Orr to second. Then a wild pitch brings Carney home and Orr to third. And the Pilots have a 5-2 to two lead. <coughs> so Christian Orr steals second. Gets Connor Rule to momentarily take his eye off the ball as it gets past him. Carney comes in to score. The game's fifth run in his 10. Orr moves all the way up to third. It's a 1-1 one -one count on McKenna. Swings through a fastball. Counts 1-2. and two. So the Pilots with a run in the inning. Counts 1-2 and two to McKenna up from Boyer. The pitch from the stretch. Foul back. We'll do it again. So five different pilots now have scored a run. Five runs, they've got four runs battered in. Jamestown with two runs on two runs battered in. Boyer comes set. The one, two. Way outside, and we're even at two balls and two strikes. So once again, Christian Orr extends the inning with a two-out walk, and that leads to a pilot's run. Boyer comes set, the 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed strike three. So Ryan Boyer comes in and strikes out the side. But a double from Carney, a stolen base, a two-out walk from Christian Orr. Leads to a run on a wild pitch. One run, one hit, no errors, one man left on base. We played five, the pilots with a 5-2 lead. As a new pitcher comes on to the hill, it's Zach May.
Bullpen roulette time for the pilots. They'll be asked. The bullpen will be asked to get the final 12 outs of this game. Pilots added another run on a wild pitch from Ryan Boyer that Colton Carney came around to score in the bottom of the fifth. We're here in the top of the sixth. It'll be Colin Stack, Alex O'Donnell, and Connor Rule, five, six, and seven, against the new pitcher, Zach Mann. Working from the windup, first pitch to Stack. It's a fastball and a called strike one. Vitaly goes five, three hits, two runs, five walks, four Ks, leaves in line to pick up his fourth win. One strike pitch, way upstairs, counts a ball and a strike. Zach, the big four right-hander from Union, Kentucky, and Saginaw Valley State, appearing in his 17th game, drops a breaking ball that this is high, counts two to one. Colin Stack, 0 for 2 tonight. Two-thirds previous innings, 37 hits, 26 runs, 22 earned, 14 walks, 33 Ks. He's 2-2 two two with a 6-4-5 ERA. Gets a pitch to stick on the inside corner. Stack, the right-handed hitting right fielder, doesn't like it. But the pilots do. The count is two balls and two strikes. So Zach Mann, the second pitcher of the night for the pilots. 2-2 two -two is popped up, playable. Carney in or back, short right field, Christian Orr. Makes the play for out number one. So one batter retired for now, Zach Mann, and that will bring up Alex O'Donnell. Alex O'Donnell. O'Donnell walked and scored the game's second run, also stole a base, then grounded out to Hunter Wells at third. Pilots lead it 5-2. to two. Scored a two-out run on a Colton Carney wild pitch the last half inning. First pitch to O'Donnell is a called strike one. A one pitch missed outside. We're even at a ball or strike. One one pitch misses outside. Counts two and one. The two one off the glove of Locker goes to the backstop. Counts three balls and a strike to the jammer shortstop O'Donnell. One strike. Alex O'Donnell is the hitter. Wells about even with the bag at third. Everyone else deep. 3 1. It's a call. Strike two, and the count is full. On in relief here in the sixth. Gets the first, got the first batter, Colin Stack, to pop out for out number one. That was a full count on O'Donnell. Payoff pitch, lined foul off. The top of the bleachers to the right of the press box. That remains full. Zach Mann, 6'4", from Union, Kentucky, on the second pilot's pitcher of the night. The 3-2. Called strike three. O'Donnell down looking. For out number two. Says a word to the man coming up to the plate, Connor Rule. He is 0 for 2, drove in the game's first run with a ground out to second. Zach Mann looking for a 1 2 3 frame. First pitch from Zach Mann from the windup. Swung on, fouled back. Counts 0 and 1. One strike pitch from Zach Mann. The pitch, breaking ball, misses high. 
That's a bonus strike. Adirondack still ahead of Onondaga in the top of the fourth, one nothing. Onyanka has retied the game with Geneva, 6-6 in the top of the sixth out at the Nasty Field. Counts two balls and a strike on Connor Rule. Zach Mann looking to come out of the pen and go one, two, three. Here in the chamber, half of the six. Working from the stretch, he counts two and one on the catcher rule. Swung on and missed. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Nobody on here in the top of the six. Pilots with a five to two beat. They scored four in the fourth, five or one in the fifth to take the lead. The two two. Hits. Wool in the back, breaking ball that gets away from him. And the Jammers have a two out base runner. And the batter is John Conti. Conti, the left handed swinging left fielder, walked and stole the bases first time up and struck out looking his second. Conti, the hitter. Man, the pitcher. Rule on first, being held on by Poe. Man comes set. First pitch to Conti. This is low. He counts 1 0. 0 for 1 tonight. The Canisius College junior left fielder. Looks down at his third base coach. Ahead of the 1 0. And comes set. The one out. Fastball called strike one. Two runs, three hits, one error for the visiting jammers. Five runs, nine hits, no errors for the hosts. Knew it. We're in the top of the six with two outs. A two out base runner after the hit by pitch to Connor Rule. The one one. From the stretch for the first time today. Counts two and one. Both teams' starters are finished. Michael Ginter goes four. He was relieved by a righty, lefty for righty. Chris Vitale goes five, lefty for righty, switch there. Zach Mann, the second pitcher of the night for the Pilots. Counts two and one on John Conti. Asked to get the final 10 outs of the night from their bullpen. The two one. Swung on, fouled back, we're even. Had two balls and two strikes. John Conti batting 346 coming into this game. He's scored 23. He's driven in 23. Has 28 hits. Just two, however, have gone for extra bases. The 2-2 two -two on Conti. Man looks over. Now looks in and fires from the stretch. Lined down the right field line. Colton Carney over. Will make the play in fair territory for out number three. So Carney goes a long way to make the final out here in the sixth. One out hit by pitch, wasted. No runs, no hits, no errors. One man left on base. We head to the bottom of the sixth. Two, three, and four for the Pilots. They are out in front. Five to two.
Graham Hackbarth, Hunter Wells, Will Alaka for the Pilots here against Ryan Boyer. On in his second inning of relief. Gave up a leadoff double to Colton Carney. Allowed him to come around to score on a wild pitch for the game's fifth run. Zach Mann hit a batter with two outs. Then a great play in the field by Colton Carney. Ended any threat that the Jammers thought they were going to make. Hackbarth digs in. He's two for three on the night. Pops the one strike pitch up. Brook over, over. Sandahar calls for it. Makes the play for out number one. Hackworth retired. He's two for four. And the batter is Hunter Wells. Switch hitting third baseman will bat from the left side for the first time tonight. Drove in his 17th and 18th. Runs batted in. His last time up with a single. Has two singles. Now has 26 hits on the summer. Also reached on a fielder's choice. So he's been on base all three times. That was from the right side. Here he is for the first time from the left. Hackbarth retired for out number one against Ryan Boyer. And now his future, the Louisiana Tech teammate, digs it. Boyer comes set, first pitch to Wells. Gets the inside corner. It's a call. Straight one. Boyer struck out the side in that last inning, but also walked batter and then gave up that double depart. One strike pitch taken high by Wells counts the ball strike. Wells swings through a fastball from Boyer. He's behind the count of ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes. Wells from the left-handed batter's box. The switch hitting third baseman, the one-two. Swung on and missed strike three. The fourth strikeout of the night for Boyer. And there's two away for Will Alaka. Catcher number 27, Will Alaka. Alaka struck out looking his first time, lined into a double play his second time, then drove in a run with a single his third. First pitch called, strike one from Boyd. Alaka's RBI single was his 22nd. Still hit six, one behind Ogre Torres for the team. The one strike pitch. Now is a ball and two strikes. Go to taking outside, counts the ball and two strikes. Boyer comes set the one two, rounded into Estrada's glove at third, throws across the diamond. To end the inning. So the word the first one, two, three inning of the night from Jamestown pitching. We've played six. The pilots have a five to lead here at Over.
Nine, one, and two for the Jammers. They've been held out of the run column since the top of the second. Ryan Boyer gets the pilots one, two, three in the bottom of six. They're retired in order for the first time tonight. Deaton and the nine spot walked his first time up and grounded out to Christian Orr. He's 0 for 1. First pitch from Zach Mann. Taken way outside off Will Alaka's glove. Count to 1 and 0. Pilots with a 5 2 lead here. We're in the top of the seventh. Nine outs to go from the bullpen. Zach Mann came in, hit a batter with two outs, and then stranded that runner when he got a great defensive play from Colton Carney and Wright. 1 0 pitch fouled off the neck of the home plate umpire. Up near the throat area, they're calling the trainer out. It was a fastball from Zach Mann that Christian Deaton fouled back. And now the we we are gonna we're gonna take a break here at Colburn Park. We are currently in a short delay here at Colburn Park. Shut the camera off. Two pitches into this top of the seventh. Christian Deaton hits a foul ball up near the neck area of the home plate umpire. He immediately went like he was going to be hurt. And then as they called the trainer over, he passed out momentarily behind home plate. So... Turn the camera off as the trainer was working on him. Since then, he has stood back up. He's talking to the pilot's owner, the trainer, and the base umpire here at Colburn Park. We're in the top of the seventh, two pitches in. Zach Mann is on the hill. He's the second pilot's pitcher of the night. The Jammers got this game started with two runs in the top of the second on a ground out from Connor Rule and a single from Chris Estrada. That's all Chris Vitale would give up. Held on just long enough in the bottom of the fourth. His offense, after leaving six runners on for the first three, got him some help in the bottom of the fourth. An RBI double from Graham Hackworth, a two-run single from Hunter Wells, and another RBI single from Will Willaka gave the Pilots a 4-2 lead. They then scored another run in the bottom of the fifth when Colton Carn, after a leadoff double, came around to score on a wild pitch. That's where we stand, five to two. Both starters have been knocked out of this game. Vitaly went five, gave up three hits, two runs. Michael Gitter went four, gave up eight hits, four runs. So as the home plate umpire continues to get his vitals checked near the pilot's dugout, we're gonna. Step away here momentarily at Colburn Park. Pilots with a 5 to 2 lead.
So the delay is over. The home plate umpire is okay. You're just joining us. Two pitches into this inning. Christian Deegan, the man at the plate, found the fastball back right up near the neck and throat area of the home plate umpire. The home plate umpire took a few steps back, then went to the ground as the trainer was sleeping in from the pilot's bullpen. He since got his vitals checked. He drank a cup of water. And he counts down two and one to make that three and one on Christian Deaton. So after the delay, the first two pitches from Zach Mann have missed. And he counts three and one on the leadoff man, Christian Deaton. The three one. Misses high, ball four. So Deegan works a walk. And the leadoff man is on for the Jammers. For the first time since the third. The number nine hole hitter reaches on a walk, and that will flip the lineup over towards the top. And Chris Estrada. Estrada, the leadoff man, drove in a single, or drove in a run with a single, and has flied out twice. He's one for three. Runner on first, being held on by Pope. First pitch from Zach Mann. This is high. So since the delay, he's thrown four straight out of the zone. Here to Jamestown hitters. Zach Mann comes set. The one up. Pitch misses inside. Bounce to an oak. Adirondack is taking a 6 nothing lead over the Onondaga Twins. They're in the top of the fifth of that seven inning game, too, as the locker goes out and talks to his roommate, Zach Mann, who's thrown six. We'll make that five straight out of the zone since the home plate umpire went down after getting hit up near the throw area. Oneonta has retaken the lead against the Geneva Red Wings. They lead it six to eight in the bottom of the seventh. Two balls, no strikes. Chris Estrada is the hitter. In the top of the seventh, no out. There it is. Whatever Alaka said to Zach Man work, it's a fastball fired in for strike one. Five two. Pilots with the lead. Here we're in the top of the seventh. Zach Mann throws over. Head to first slide back in safely is Christian Deaton. Here in the top of the seventh. Zach Mann comes set. The 2 1 at the belt. Called strike two on Estrada. So after five straight out of the zone, two straight in the zone. To Chris Estrada, the third baseman. For the Jammers. Wells, our third baseman, even with the bag at third. Poe holding on the runner at first. That's D in the 2-2. Two -two. Thought about a pitch way outside in the dirt, but lays off. The count is full. Three balls, two strikes. Nobody out. Payoff pitch, called strike three. Throw down, not in time. It's a stolen base for Christian Deaton. Chris Estrada retired on strikes looking, and there's one away. The second strikeout of the night. So the second strikeout of the night for Zach Mann. There's one away, and there's a runner on second. The runner on second is Christian Deaton. 
Eaton just picked up his eighth stolen base in 10 attempts. The batter is Jimmy Standahart. Home plate umpire calls time. Ahead of the first pitch to Standahart from Zach Mann. Mann working from the stretch here. We're in the top of the seventh, one out. Christian Deaton leads off second after the strikeout looking and stolen base. Man looks back, now fires. Sandahar swinging, fouls it back, counts on one. Sandahar has popped out twice and walked here tonight at Coburn Park. He's 0 for 2. Jammers trail this game 5 to 2. Pilots have the lead. Here we're in the top of the seventh with one out. Jake Bernardo beginning to throw out in the Pilots' pen. For now, it's Zach Mann versus Jimmy Standahar. Mann looks back, double checks on D in the two strike pit or the one strike pitch. And this is low, who counts a ball and strike. One ball, one strike, one out. He in at second, Standahar at the dish. The 1-1. One, one. Call the strike two from Zach Mann. In here, firing strikes to Standahar. At one point in this inning, threw five straight out of the zone. That was after a delay we had to start after the home plate umpire got hit up near the neck area with a foul ball. He has since returned. The counts one and two. Lined up the middle. Or will let this ball go into center field. Deaton will be held at third. The throw comes all the way to the plate. We'll see how they score it. A single for Jimmy Standahar. He's one for three. Moves Deaton up to third. There's runners on the corners with one out. As the tying run has come to the plate, it's Ben Brookover. Brookover, two for three tonight. Here against the Pilots. The all-star reserve first baseman for the Jammers. Alaka will go out a few steps in front of home plate and Give his infield a sign with runners on the corners in case Standahar decides to head the second. What to do in case Eaton decides to come home on a double steal attempt. The batter is Brookover. He's two for three. Two singles and a stolen base tonight. First time up against Zach Mann. Comes set from the stretch. The first pitch. Grounded to Hackworth. Over to his right. Only play to first, he makes it. It's an RBI ground out by Ben Brookover, and it's 5-3. to three. So Standahar moves up to second on the fielder's choice. Conti comes around to score his first run. And the Pilots' lead is now just two. It's a 6-3 to three fielder's choice RBI. Brookover. Picks up his 31st RBI. He endorses his 16th run. And the batter is Skyler Valentine. So a hit, a walk, a strikeout, and a run off Zach Mann here in the seventh, the second frame. Wow, Griffin has started throwing now in the pilot's pen. Picked up. The last three outs in last night's win struck out the Elmira Pioneer side in order. Count is 1-0 and on Valentine. After the first pitch from Zach Mann, missed inside. One ball, no strikes, two outs. Runner on second, the 1-0. Pitch off the glove of Alaka. Standahar moves down to third on the pass ball. And then there's a run just 90 feet away for the Jammers. 
Count is 2-0 on Skyler Valentine. Valentine, who's 0 for 2, rounded into a double play and struck out his last two times up. Also, Walkie stole a base and scored the game's first run. 5 to 3 Pilots. Jamestown with a run here in this half inning on an RBI ground out. The 2 0. Pitch in the dirt, blocked by a locker. Counts 3 0 on Valentine. Three balls, no strikes. Two outs. Holland stacked with the next. It's a 3 0 count from Zach Mann. The pitch gets the outside corner. Counts three and one. A run, a hit, a walk, and a strikeout off of Zach Mann here in the top of the seventh. There's two away. The batter is Tyler Valentine. The count is 3 1. Standahar leads off third. The pitch. Way outside, ball four. The second walk of the inning on the Zach Mann. And the time run is on first. As Colin Stapp comes up to the plate, no, Bennett so Schultz not. will head out to Ready the mound to go Colin and talk Stapp. to his lady, Zach Mann. Bennett Schultz joined by Wibble Locker. Jimmy Standahar is on third. Skyler Valentine is on first. Valentine represents the tying run as Colin Stack comes up to the plate. Schultz gives Zach Mann a pat on the back, and now we'll head back to the first base dugout. Stack 0 for 3. 38 for 132. Has driven in 28. Has runners on the corners. Locker will give his infield the signal in case of a steal attempt. Standahar off third, beached on a single. Valentine off first, beached on his second walk of the night and his 31st on the summer. Late handed swing, right fielder, the all star, Colin Stepp. The junior from the UMBC takes a called strike one. Has popped out twice, then struck out swinging. He was the first batter that Zach Mann faced tonight. Zach Mann comes set. The one strike pitch. Lined into center field, McKenna on will come into a slide and make the play for out number three. So Mark McKenna comes sprinting in on a line drive hit right at him. Makes it look easy as he comes into a slide for out number three. But the Jammers get one. One run, one hit, no errors, and two men left on base. We head to the bottom of the seventh. Pilots still in front. Five to three, here at Colburn Park in New.
five, six, and seven, Torres, Carney, and Loeffler. Ryan Boyer on in his third inning own relief of Michael Ginther. First pitch swinging is Torres. Now it's only one. Torres strikeout out working his last time up has an infield single and a walk. He's one for two tonight. Has been on base twice. Ginther went four, gave up four runs. Boyer has gone two. He's given up one. The one strike pitch to Torres. Line in the left field, but right at John Conti in left or out number one. Boyer has retired five in a row, and the batter's Colton Horn. Jammers got one back in the top of the seven. One hit, two walks, and the run came on an RBI ground out from Ben Brookover off of Zach Mann to make this a 5-3 game. Colton has the Pilots' last hit. It was a bloop double. He then stole third and came around to score the game's fifth, the Pilots' fifth run on a wild pitch. Boyer from the stretch, first pitch swinging. Fouls it back, counts on one. Carney, one for three, has also struck out in this game. He's also made a great play in right field. One strike pitch, swung on and missed. Counts on two. Carney was the first batter that Boyer faced tonight. Mark McKenna, with runners on the corners, made a great sliding play out in center field to end the Jamestown threat in the top half of this inning. It's 5-3, to three, Pilots lead. Two strike pitch misses outside, counts one and two. One ball, two strikes, one out. Three runs, four hits, one error for the visitors, the Jamestown Jamers. Five runs, nine hits, no errors for the Pilots. They lead. The one two. Swung on and missed at a pitch in the dirt. Connor Rule will throw down to first to complete the strikeout, and there's two away. Walked and stole or walked his first time up. Struck out last two times up. Struck out 19 times on the summer. The Yukon. Freshman is 11 for 46. First pitch from Boyer. Swung on and missed. Counts out with one. Jake Bernardo continuing to throw in the pilot's pen. No arms getting loose in the jammer pen. Boyer comes set. One strike pitch. Bounce with even at a ball to strike. Both relievers have given up a run in their two minutes on the mound. We're on his third. He's got the first two outs here in order. The one one to Lawford. Swung on and missed. Down some balls and strikes. Weir has retired six in a row since the two out walk to Christian Orr back in the fifth. Looking to make it seven and Go for back to back one, two, three innings here in Newark. The one, two from the stretch. Rounded up the middle. O'Donnell will lose it on a hop as the ball rolls into center field. It's going to be a single up the middle for Josh Walford. He's one for three. And the inning continues for Coach Juan Pond. Poe is 0 for 3 tonight. He's the first baseman for the Pilots. A slow chopper hit up the middle. Would have been a tough play for O'Donnell to get Loeffler down the first baseline anyway. As it hits off his glove and rolls into center field. Poe looking to keep this two out inning going. Loeffler off first. First pitch up the middle. Standahar fields it. Flips to O'Donnell for out number 3. No runs, one hit, no errors, one man left on base. We played seven. The Pilots have a five-three lead here at over.
Top of the eighth inning here at Colburn Park. A one-out single by Josh Lofler up the middle was wasted. When Poe grounded into a fielder's choice to end the Pilots' half of the seventh. Top of the eighth, a new pitcher for the Pilots. Zach Mann goes two, gives up a hit, a run or two walks, hits a batter, and strikes out two. Pilots with a 5-3 lead. It'll be 6-7-8. and eight. Alex O'Donnell, Connor Rule, and John Conti. Well, Jake Bernardo. 1-6-4 righty gives way to another 6-4 righty. First pitch from Bernardo, misses upstairs, counts a ball and a strike. Bernardo from Glenmont, New York, and Fordham. On in relief. The third different Pilots pitcher of the night counts 2-0 now on O'Donnell. Bernardo's numbers in 15 previous games, 21 and two-thirds innings, 26 hits, 40 runs, 36 earned. 33 walks, 14 strikeouts. He's 0-3. He has a save and a 14.95 earned run average. 2-0 pitch is bounce. Counts 3-0 on O'Donnell, the leadoff man here in the eighth. And Griffin has started to throw in the pilot's pen. Bernardo wearing number 17, long locks hanging out of his hat. Hunter Wells is in at third, a step off the grass, as Bernardo works on in his 16th appearance. The 3-0 fastball called strike one. O'Donnell is 0 for 2 tonight, struck out looking his last time up, walked and scored the game's second run in the second. Pilots with a 5-3 lead. The 3-1, way outside, ball four. O'Donnell works a walk off Bernardo. And the leadoff man is on here in the eighth. As Connor Rule comes on to the mound, as Marcus Miller sprints it towards the bullpen to say some words to Griffin. You have to imagine with just a two run lead, a short leash for Bernardo here in the eighth. Asked to get the three outs and, bri and build the bridge from man to Griffin for the ninth. Lead off walk, first pitch to rule, way outside, gets away from Malaka. O'Donnell going to move up on the wild pitch, 90 feet in the scoring position. The count is 1-0 and on rule. And now Malaka will go out and talk to Bernardo. The walk to... O'Donnell to start this inning was the 34th walk of the summer issued by Jake Bernardo in just 21 and two-thirds innings. It's the second time tonight that O'Donnell has reached base. A lock ahead back behind home plate, and the count is 1-0 on Connor Rule, the freshman catcher from Kansas State. Rounded out and drove in a run in the second, struck out in the fourth, and was hit in the sixth. Here he is in the eighth. Bernardo steps off ahead of the one up. Griffin continuing to throw to his future Louisiana Tech teammate Jonathan Parker out in the bullpen. Parker, the bullpen catcher tonight, getting the night off from hitting. The one up. This one hits Connor Rule, and the time run is on first base as that one. Hits off Rule, then hits off Alaka, as they're going to make sure Alaka is okay. Rule, one catcher, making sure that Alaka is all right. Both those freshman catchers appeared in the prospect game, and Jake Bernardo's night is over. Walks O'Donnell, hits Connor Rule, puts the tying run on first. It'll be Jonathan Kyle Griffin out of the bullpen. When we get back here in the eighth with no outs and a 5-3 Pilots lead.
Jake Bernardo comes out of the bullpen, pitches to the first two batters, both righties. Walks O'Donnell, hits Connor Rule. Now with two straight lefties coming up, pitcher Cook Bennett Shields will elect to go get his closer. It's Kyle Griffin asked to get the final six outs and preserve, for now, this two-run Pilots lead. Griffin appearing in his 17th game. He started four, 33 and two-thirds, 42 hits, 23 runs, 20 no, earned, 18 Jesus, walks, 23 six. strikeouts. He's three no. and three, has four no. saves and a 5-3-4 earned run average on the summer. The freshman from Lake Charles, Louisiana, and Louisiana Tech throws from the left side and will face the lefty, John Conti. 0 for 2 with a walk tonight. First pitch from Griffin. Squares the bunt, pulls it back, and takes ball one. Griffin got the final three outs of last night's 9-4 win against Elmira. Struck out the side in order to preserve the 9-4 win. Hunter Wells in on the grass. Poe also in at third. Conti the hitter. Squared to bunt his first time. Griffin paying close attention to O'Donnell. Squares to bunt again. Gets it down the third base line, but foul. So the count's a ball and a strike. John Conti looking to bunt over the timed run into scoring position. He stands on first. That's rule. The possible fourth run, O'Donnell, stands on second. In a battle here with the first place Jamestown Jammers. Jamestown 14 and 7 on the road, 21 and 10 against the West. Pilots 7 and 13 at home, 12 and 22 against the West. The 1 1. Squares the bunt. They're going to say he offered at it, and the count's 1 and 2. Pilots have won the last two matchups with these Jamestown Jammers. They to make it three in a row. They've had the lead since the bottom of the fourth. It was 5-2 to two at one point. It's since shrunk to 5-3. to three. One out or no outs, a 1-2 count. Griffin double checks on O'Donnell, steps off, spins. O'Donnell back in. O'Donnell already has a stolen base in this one. It was his fifth. Connor Rule, the runner behind him at first, has just one stolen base on the center. It's a 1-2 count on Conti. Swung on and missed strike three. Conti down swinging for out number one. Griffin has pitched in the last three games for the Pilots. Pitched the final three outs in the 7-5 win at Dietrich Park on Sunday. Retired the first two batters, then walked the third, but a ground out ended the threat and gave the Pilots a 7-5 win. Looking to extend their three-game winning streak, the batters, Christian Deaton. Griffin comes in, gets the first guy to strike out. First pitch to Deaton, called strike one. Deaton scored the Jammers' third run. On his second walk of the night, stole second, came around to score on a Ben Brookover RBI ground out. Top of the eighth here at Colburn Park. Or no balls, one strike. Griffin comes set from the stretch. Double checks on O'Donnell. Time was called by the home plate umpire as Griffin has started his lineup. So similar to what happened with Vitaly earlier in the game. Griffin, had, this has happened with Griffin before in the game in Onondaga where Griffin got really mad in the doubleheader against the Flames earlier in the year and threw the ball directly towards the home plate umpire as he got cut off in his windup twice in a row. It's a one-strike count on Christian Deaton, the left-handed designated hitter from CSU Bakersfield for the Jammers. Griffin looks back, a one-strike pitch off the outside part of the plate, and we're even at a ball and a strike. Two runners on, the second pitcher in the inning for the Pilots, it's Kyle Griffin. Bernardo hit, or walked the first batter, O'Donnell, then hit the second batter, Rule. 
Griffin was brought in to face the two straight lefties, and he'll be asked to get the final, now five outs. Pilots with a two-run lead. The 1-1. One -one. Off the plate. A lockup prevents it from going to the backstop and counts 2-1. Griffin, three and three with four saves, looking to preserve Chris Vitale's fourth win. Three pilots tied with three wins apiece, Griffin Vitale and Henry Martinez. Martinez won Sunday's game against Jamestown. The 2-1. Swung on and fouled back, and the count was two balls and two strikes. Two balls, two strikes, one out, and two one. Two run lead for the pilots here in the game. Wells in about a half a step off of the grass at third base. Poe deep at first. Middle infield bat. One out. Two two count on Deaton. Ready for play given to Kyle Griffin. Comes set from the stretch. Looks back at O'Donnell. Steps off, spins around. O'Donnell back in safely. Paying close attention to O'Donnell at second. It's a 2-2 count on the designated hitter. The 2-2. Two -two. Popped up. Playable. Hackbarth over. Wells over. Wells calls for it. Makes the play... For out number two, as the lineup flips no, towards the top, it's Chris Estrada. Chris Estrada. So Griffin has come in and got the first two outs. Now it'll be the leadoff man, Chris Estrada. The Louisiana Tech All-Conference USA freshman team. Kyle Griffin looking to strand the two base runners that Bernardo put on and pick up his righty. First pitch called strike one. Chris Estrada is one for four tonight. Struck out looking his last time up against Zach Mann. He was one for three off of Vitali. Batting leadoff, playing third base tonight. For the Jammers. Griffin looks back, looks over. The one strike pitch. Misses high at the letters. Counts a ball and strike. Two runners on. That's O'Donnell and Connor Rule. A walk and a hit by pitch. That was both from Jake Bernardo, who started this inning. Since then, Griffin has struck out Conti and got Deaton to pop out. Those were two lefties. The first righty he faces, it's Chris Estrada. The 1-1. One, one. Swung on and grounded to Wells. Plays it on a hop. He will touch third. And Griffin comes in and picks up Bernardo for the three outs in the top of the eighth. Bernardo starts the inning. A walk and a hit by pitch. Griffin comes in, gets the next three outs in order. We head to the bottom of the eighth. Christian Ord in the top of the order for the Pilots. They still lead 5-3. to three.
out of town Western Division scoreboard. The Geneva Red Wings have retied the game up at eight. They're in the top of the ninth in Oneonta. The Adirondack Trailblazers have allowed the Flames to cut the lead in half in game two. It's eight to four. Trailblazers lead in the top of the sixth. First pitch to Christian Orr is a call. Strike one. It'll be Christian Orr, Mark McKenna, and Graham Hackworth against Ryan Boyer on in his fourth inning of relief out of the pen for the Jammers. Christian Orr has walked his last two times up. Swinging on one strike count. Pokes a count. Orr's last two at-bats have led to all five pilots' runs in the fourth. His walk extended the, the inning, then four straight hits led to four straight runs. And then his walk in the fifth, when he stole second, allowed Colton Carney to score on a wild pitch. Two strike pitch misses up and in to Christian Orr. Now it's one and two. An eventful top of the eighth inning for the Pilots pitching staff. Jake Bernardo comes in to start the inning, walks Alex O'Donnell, and hits Connor Rule to put runners on first and second as Christian Orr strikes out looking. Rule at first represented the time run. Then it shows two straight lefties coming up, went to his bullpen to get his closer. Kyle Griffin came in, struck out John Conkey, got Christian Deaton to pop out, and then got Chris Estrada to ground out in the fielder's choice. So Griffin, on for a six-out save, has gotten half of those outs. One out here in the bottom of the eighth, the pilot's half. As Mark McKenna digs it, two for four tonight with two singles. Swinging on the first pitch from Boyer, charged by O'Donnell. He will not get there. Infield single. An error, make that, for Alex O'Donnell as McKenna reaches on the P6. The second error the Jammers have made tonight. Graham Hackworth. As Graham Hackforth digs in with a runner on first. See if they try to bunt McKenna over to second, try to get a little insurance run into scoring position. Hackworth's two for four with an RBI double in this game. That double came back in the four run fourth. Pilots with a five to three lead. Looking for some insurance before we head to the ninth. Hit and run on, first pitch. Fouled back by Hackbar. Counts on one. Pilots have four, five runs in the game, four runs batted in. The Jammers have three runs in the game, three runs batted in. Ryan Boyer comes set from the stretch. The uh, one outside corner called strike two. Kitten run off that time. Hackworth has also scored a run in this game. Scored the go ahead run back in the fourth to give it a three to two lead. The two strike pitch rounded up the middle. The only play for Sandahar is the first. McKenna moves up 90 feet to second on the fielder's choice. Hackworth retired. He's two for five. Same as McKenna, and the batter is Hunter Wells. Wells, the switch hitting third baseman up from the left side. Struck out swinging against Boyer, his only time he's faced him. He's two for four, drove in two with a single in the fourth. Has a run scoring opportunity here. If he can put one into the outfield to try to drive in McKenna. This one goes into the right center field gap. It's gonna. First pitch swinging. McKenna rounds third. He scores. Wells over to second. It's a two out. Double for Hunter Wells. And the Pilots have doubled up their lead. It's now six to three. So Wells drives in his third run of the night. He's got 19 RBIs on the year. No, More pilots, importantly, the Pilots get an insurance run at 6-3 to three, as Will Alaka steps up. Alaka won for four in this game, but the one was an RBI single that scored Hunter Wells back in the fourth. Has a chance to do the same thing. Boyer comes set. First pitch to Alaka. Swinging, grounds it foul. That's all one 
Pilots have taken a 6-3 lead, got the run that the Jammers scored in the top of the seventh back on the two-out double from Hunter Wells, scoring Mark McKenna. The one strike pitch to a locker. The Pilots catcher bounces, bounce a ball and a strike. Alaka's run was his 22nd driven in on the year. The three RBIs tonight for Wells moves him into fourth place on the team. Behind Torres, Alaka, and Badaglia. The 1-1 one -one to Alaka. Pops it up out of play and counts the ball and two strikes. Griffin will have two, three, and four in the Jamestown lineup to try to pick up his fifth save. Alaka trying to give him one more insurance run here in the eighth. The Pilots catcher waits. The one-two from Boyer. Taken off the plate. Counts two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Wells leads off second, the two two. Way upstairs and the count is full. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. One run home in this inning on the two out double by Hunter Wells. On the first pitch he saw it is a B from Ryan Boyer. Alaka waits Boyer. It's hand in glove come set. The payoff pitch. Lined into left, this ball's gonna drop. Wells is gonna round third, he's heading home. It's an RBI single for Will Alaka, and it's seven to three. Alaka picks up his second RBI of the night. Wells comes around to score his second run, and the pilots have added two. They lead seven to three. And the batter is Overt Torres. The two RBIs for Will Alaka tonight have tied him with Torres for the team lead at 23. Overt is two for three, walked as an infield single, and struck out looking in four plate appearances tonight. 0 for 1 against Boyer. First pitch from the stretch, a breaking ball that fools him. They're called strike. It's a one strike count on Over Torres, the pilot's designated hitter tonight. A one strike pitch swung on and missed. Counts on with two. Pilot's with. Two hits in this inning were helped out by the Jammers' defense with an error. The two-strike pitch. Bounce. Alaka gets picked off at first, however, to end the inning. So Connor Rule well, throws behind Alaka to end the inning, but the Pilots get two runs of insurance. Two runs, two hits. One error in the inning, and because of the pickoff, no one left on base. We played eight. Now that we have Pilots with a 7-3 lead. Griffin back on the mound for the final three outs tonight.
Kyle Griffin back on the mound in his second inning of relief to get the final three outs tonight and pick up his fifth save of the year and preserve Chris Vitale's fourth win. Got some big help from his offense in there in the pilot's half of the eighth. A two-out double from Hunter Wells for his third RBI and then a two-out single from Will Alaka for his second. It's seven to three pilots. First pitch to Standahar. This is low ball one. Jake Bernardo started the eighth. Walked Alex O'Donnell and hit Connor Rule. Bennett Schultz went to his bullpen as two straight lefties coming up, pulled in his lefty closer Griffin. He then got the Jammers 1-2-3 to strand those two runners and pick up Bernardo. It's a now a 1-1 count on Standahar. Griffin goes off speed to get hit past his swinging bat. Standahar 1-3 for a three tonight with a single. One strike pitch, gets him to chase, counts one and two. Pilots two outs away from their 15th win on the summer. After winning just five and 25 games in July, looking to double that total here in June, goes the other way. A win would be their fourth in a row. It's a one-two count. The pitch taken low. We're even at two balls and two strikes. The Red Wings of Geneva have gone final in Oneonta. They won nine to eight. Adirondack still doubling up Onondaga, eight to four, in the bottom of the sixth of their game. That's game two in the seven-inning doubleheader. Flames won game one. Count is now full on the leadoff man in the game, Sandahar. Griffin looks in. The jammer second baseman waits. A lot of sets up inside. Slow grounder. Griffin off the mound. Takes it himself. Slides to the bag. And they're going to say he's safe. Griffin... Bobbled it heading towards first. He was unable to come up to the play. It's an E1, allowing Sandahar to reach. And that's going to lead to a mound visit from the head coach for the Pilots, Franklin Bush. So Sandahar reaches on the error from Griffin, who came sprinting off the mound for that one, saw that no one was coming over to cover first, as Poe went for the ball too, took his eye off the ball just enough to allow him to bobble it and to allow Sandahar to reach. The batter is Ben Brookover. Two for four tonight with an RBI. The perfect game leader in hits. The first baseman for the Jammers. Pilots with a four-run lead after they got two runs of insurance in the eighth. All seven of their runs have come with two outs. Griffin comes set. First pitch to Brook over. Misses high. Counts one and over. Poe holding on Standahar after he reached on the Griffin E1. The one out. Swung on, fouled back. Counts a ball and a strike. Standahar, the first batter to reach off of Griffin tonight. Got the final, or got all three outs, in fact, in the top of the eighth. Has to get the final three here in the ninth. Pilots looking to patch up this victory, defeating Elmira and Jamestown to come off the all-star break. Two balls, one strike. Nobody out here in the top of the ninth. Standahar leads off first to two one. Swung on and fouled back, and the count is even at two balls and two strikes. 
Standalar reached on an error to start off this ninth. Pilots doubled their lead in the third half of the eighth on two hits and an error of the Jammers' own to lead to two out RBIs from Hunter Wells and Willow Lock. They both have multi RBI games. Griffin comes set. The 2 2. Chase the pitch high, bounces it to Orr. Only play is at first. Christian makes it, and they're two outs away from a pilot's victory. So Brookover retired on the fielder's choice round out. And the batter is Skyler Valentine. Valentine is 0 for 2. Griffin comes set from the stretch. Runner on second, meaningless. First pitch popped up. Hackbarth back. Wells will call for it. Wells will glove it in fair territory for out number two. The Jammers are down to their final out tonight. Griffin one out away from his fifth save. More importantly, the Pilots' 15th win. Standahar started off this inning reaching on an E1. He stands on second. That run is meaningless. Pilots with a four-run lead. Just have to go after Colin Stack, who's 0 for 4 against Pilots pitching tonight. Griffin comes set from the stretch. Swung on, foul tipped into the glove, strike one. Colin Stack, the right-handed swinging right fielder from the University of Maryland, Baltimore campus. Wears at number nine for the Jammers. No batting gloves this time around. Two strikes away for Griffin. Lined to Poe. Plays it on a hop. Steps on the bag at third. And the Pilots have won four games in a row. Four in a row. Eight of nine. Won their record to 15 and 26 on the year. The win goes to Chris Vitale. It's his fourth. The loss goes to... Michael Ginter, his first, and Jonathan Kyle Griffin comes out of the pen and works a six-out save to preserve this pilot's victory. After going four and two on the road trip to end their unofficial first half, they've come back in the second half and defeated the Elmira Pioneers and the Jamestown Jammers in back-to-back -back games. Winners are four in a row are the Newark Pilots. Off tomorrow night, then back at Aronic on Saturday, and then a home-and-home home with the Geneva on Sunday and Monday before we head to Jamestown and Elmira Tuesday and Wednesday. The final stretch of the season. The Pilots still in the playoff hunt here in the Western Division. The Jammers got an early 2 to nothing lead in this game in the second. And an RBI ground out from Connor Rule and Chris Estrada. That's all Vitaly would give up for the next three, allowing his offense to arrive. When the Pilots' offense landed in the bottom of the fourth, they put up four two-out hits to lead to four two-out runs. The rally started when Christian Orr worked back from an 0-2 count to work a walk. So with four runs in the fourth, they added another one in the fifth when Colton Carney came around to score on a wild pitch to make it 5-2. The Jammers would get a run in the top of the seventh off Zach Mann and on an RBI ground out from Ben Brookover to get it as close to five and three. But in the top of the eighth, they threatened down just two. Jake Bernardo on for the Pilots, walked the first batter, then hit the second batter. He was pulled for Kyle Griffin. Asked to get the final six outs of the game, he did just that. To preserve the Pilots' 15th win. Win to Vitaly, lost to Ginter. Kyle Griffin picks up the save in the final frame. No runs, no hits. One error in the inning and one man left on base. Signing off after the Pilots.
seven to three win at Colburn Park for the Newark Pilots Radio Network. I'm Frank Sala. Good night.